pay attention because this video is not financial advice it's only a source of good information and we got great classical music that you can listen to but in today's video we're going to find stocks on Finviz to invest or swing trade in or my favorite you can use it for covered calls and cash secure puts everybody's got a preference that just happens to be mine oh yeah like share and subscribe first off we need to describe what swing trading is. Swing trading is a very speculative form of trading. It's a strategy in financial markets where a tradable asset is held for one or more days in an effort to profit from price changes or swing momentum signals, i.e. 52 week highs or lows. These have been used by stop. different I want to write some stuff down so I can, no. it's no big deal, no. whatever. Finviz is a browser-based stock market screener and company research platform that makes market information easily accessible to traders and investors. I happen to like it myself. In a second, we're going to go right to Finviz.com because that's where you need to go to get the information that's going to help you figure out what stocks you want to look at, what you want to do with it what type of trading uh, style that you have. Here we are on Finviz. This site has a lot of things that are going to be essential to you as a trader. Okay? But, for right now, in order to keep this video short and sweet, we're just going to focus on the screening aspect of it. So what we do is we go up top and we select Screener. Okay, once you select screener, you're going to select all. All is going to be the next thing that you select. Just going to zoom in so you can see it. All right, first thing you want to look at is you want to look at the PB ratio or price to book ratio. This compares the value of a stock to the value of a company. Usually you want it at somewhere around three or lower, but everybody has their preferences. This is mine. Yours can be different. Next, you want to look at the PE ratio, price to earnings ratio. This compares a company's share price to its price per earnings or how long it's going to take for the investor to get their money back. That's something that you want to know. You want it to be at least 10. Okay. The next thing you're going to look at the PEG or price to earnings growth ratio. This divides a company's PE ratio by the year over year growth of earnings. Example, a PEG of two means that investors are paying twice as much for growth versus a PEG of one, meaning you're breaking even. You may have to adjust that in this current environment, in this particular stock market. You may want to select something like um, under three, just because everything in this current market is overpriced. And that's another topic for another video. Okay. Next, you want to look at dividend yield. Okay. Usually I like to go between two and four, but let's let's try something different today let's do at least one because i don't want to miss anything i just want to see what is out there and then there are a couple of other things that you want to look at the country of course you want to select something from the usa just because of current trade tensions until the new at least until the new administration comes in something else that you want to look at is average volume okay you want it, mm, let's start with over 750K. That's kind of like the sweet spot. Let's just stop. I want to write some stuff down so I can, it's no big deal, whatever. But I'll tell you what, this is only the first part. After you do this, I'm going to give you a reference later on in the video. And I'm going to tell you that, hey, 
you need to go and look at the company's balance sheet. And you can do that by going directly to their website. We're just flipping through the different pages right now. On the second page, I may change something up just to get a few more um, choices here. Let's change that PEG to under three. And then that way you got a whole nother page because a lot of those that I was seeing were mostly financials. And I want to bring up something that I haven't seen before. Maybe something pops up that I haven't seen. Just looking through here. Well, I'm familiar with all that KB home. Not at this particular time, because I know it's coming down the pipe. But that's another another video for another time. Let's see. Ooh, Thor. What is this? Okay. That chart is not that appealing. But at the end, it looks like they're on somewhat of an uptrend. I may want to look into that. Let me do a little bit more research on this company. Yeah, it looks like they're trying, they're trading within a certain range. There are all types of things that I can do to that since it is optionable and shortable. So there are all type of things that I can do with that, um, with the stock that's trading that way. Again, make sure it's optionable and shortable, as I just said. With it being optionable and shortable, that helps individuals who don't particularly have the capital to buy 100 shares. This actually gives you more options, hence the name options. <laughs> Next step, to visit the company's website. Find out how they make their money. Look for an economic moat or a competitive advantage. I just wanted to hop on here and give you a few tips. If you found any value in this video, like, share, and subscribe, and get ready for the next one. I'll see you soon.